We all live in the digital world. We all need it to be open and safe. We all want to trust. And to be trusted. We all despise control. And desire freedom. We, we are all united. united. We still have for you a cultural show. In a moment, a great artist will perform especially for you. They are guests, they are participants of the IGF 2021 in Katowice. He's a classical pianist, composer, conductor, as well as entrepreneur and public speaker. He started playing piano at the age of 14, but a few months later, he won his first piano competition. At the age of 18, he played at the Théâtre de Champs-Élysées in Paris. His breakthrough came 2010 at the most important piano competition in the world, Chopin Piano Competition in Warsaw, where he won more prizes than anyone else that year. He has performed in the most prestigious halls in Europe, Asia, and both Americas. Recently, together with his wife, they founded Apasio and Apasimo, a music and art education startup used by universities. He appears also as a speaker representing the music world. He has spoken and participated in the discussion at the World Economic Forum in Davos and also in San Diego during the world's largest educational conference and, of course, a lot of other places. Passion is a key word in his life. Today, he is with us in Katowice and played three pieces by famous Polish composers. Wojciech Kilar, theme of the film Trendowata Precz Moich Oczu, Ignacy Jan Paderewski, Menuet G Dur, Opus 14, Number 1, and Frédéric Chopin, Polonaise As Dur, Opus 53. Additionally, he will speak about the importance of quality music and music education for all of us in a world full of technology and artificial intelligence. Please give a Big applause to Ingolf Wunder. Ingolf Wunder. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Thank you very much. It's my huge pleasure to be here today in Poland at the IGF and to talk to such a great international crowd of people who all deeply care about digital transformation. Thank you so much for having me. Today I would like to talk to you about the importance of music, quality music and music education in a world full of AI. We are surrounded by technology and we definitely live in a world of overstimulation. The smartphone became our best companion and with the current crazy times we live through, we get even more connected to computers. I'm a musician, as you heard, but my wife and I, we also have an internet startup. I love technology and on that journey so far, we got to know the up and down sides of technology and got to know how they can influence our human evolution. However, our tech consumption habits might change in the future. It's quite safe to assume that we go into a world where most segments of our lives will be controlled to some degree by an AI. And through these AI systems, we'll be continuously being bombarded uh, by audio video content 24 seven and in record speeds. And it's very important to know that all these streams of content that come into our brain are immediately evaluated with the two minds within us. We have the conscious mind and we have the subconscious mind. The conscious one runs on a computer equivalent speed of about 40 to 100 bits per second, which is quite decent already. But our subconscious mind runs on a mind blowing 40 to 100 million bits per second. So while your conscious brain can only focus on a few things at the same time, your subconscious mind takes in everything. So in fact, everything you have ever experienced, thought or listened to stays to some degree in your brain. And in those streams of content, there's almost always also some music present. Music and sounds is something we simply cannot get away from. Even if you cover your ears, you still hear the sounds. But before we go deeper into the relationship of music and tech, it's important to answer this basic question. Why is music and sounds, why is that so important for us humans and for our bodies? Why is it relevant? Well, firstly, we process sounds the quickest. Therefore, they shoot a pistol at the start of a 100 meter race and they don't flash you in the face with a light. Secondly, music seems to have a very direct influence on our human nervous systems. Music makes us sad, music makes us happy, music makes us think and music makes us focus. Music seems to have all these direct influences on our body. But why does music do this? Well, this is because of frequency. 
music is obviously frequency. But if you zoom in on a quantum level, all of the trillions of our, of our cells are frequency too. They're waves. And if you scientifically analyze that, you see that all the information we receive has a direct biological impact on our bodies. The science around this is called epigenetics. And it tells us that what some call your personal reality, so what you thought, what you eat, what you think, <laughs> this is thought, and of course what you, li what you listen to, has a direct influence on how our DNA blueprint is being used in order to make proteins. And these proteins make up the cells, and the cells in the group are what we call us. And here's the thing, billions of cells die every day and are replaced by newly created ones. And these new ones have been directly altered by your personal reality. And when I first learned about this, it, it blew my mind, almost literally. <laughs> so it means that it's scientifically proven that what you listen to changes you biologically. And as a musician who became conscious of these things, I can tell you firsthand that the influence of music on our bodies and brains is absolutely profound. And what I can also tell you is that the more quality music has, the more good change it's doing within us. I'll come to this in a bit, but quality in music means it gives our body more information, more diversification, more emotional details, more shades, and so on. And all of this happens to all of us every day, no matter if you're, if you're aware of it or no matter if you're a musician or not. So I'm asking you, if you know what you know now, that it's scientifically proven that music changes our bodies and that quality music does it better, why would you feed yourself with low quality music exactly? Low quality music means that it has less diversification, less meaning, less details and shades. In fact, low quality music can be directly compared to junk food. And unless you're a seven-year-old kid, you wouldn't want to eat junk food every day, would you? But in order to know what we should eat or listen to in this example, it's very important to know what quality in music actually is. And this is a very hard one, because even specialists got used to saying, yeah, there are so many, you know, so many details, most of it is subjective, they say. You like this, I like that. Let's agree to disagree and let the market decide about quality. Well, this is obviously a wrong strategy, but there is indeed something subjective on top of it. And this is beautiful because two people listening to the same piece of music will hear every time something slightly different every time they listen to it. This is wonderful. But underneath there's a more objective and more important layer which can be scientifically analyzed, measured, and passed on by human traditions. So if you take these two layers, subjective and objective, put them together, then you have roughly the overall quality of a piece of music. Unfortunately, in the second half of the 20th century, we let this overall quality of music go down quite rapidly. And unfortunately, it left a world where we have billions of people being surrounded day in and day out by low quality music. And by the way, low quality is not genre specific. There's great and bad pop music as well as great and bad classical music. And with this overall downfall of quality, we unfortunately also influenced the conscious and subconscious music understanding and sensitivity of billions of people today. And this is something we urgently need to fix. In my opinion, making sure we have high quality music for billions of people is right up there in terms of importance with all the other SDGs. In fact, it falls directly into SDG number three, good health and well-being, and SDG number four, quality education. So we know now that music influences our body and that quality music does it better. But why is it relevant in a world full of tech? Well, as most of you know, we are at crossroads currently, and the technology that leads us into the future, while in-depth only understood by very few people, 
is being used by billions of people and it has it or it has us already halfway through through in the singularity and or at least in a world where it's very hard to distinguish human and machine a few examples imagine ai composing your personal music without you ever learning anything about composition imagine an ai doing your law work without you being a lawyer or imagine an ai system healing you without you visiting a doctor or the obvious one imagine a world where you can just google something by thinking as most of you know we are almost already in that world and it will take only a few steps until we are completely in some of us will go there voluntary some of us involuntary and for music this means we have to ask ourselves questions like what is quality i touched upon that who will be the judge of quality an ai my mood my informed or uninformed opinion and how are we giving billions of people the needed sensitivity back to become consciously aware of these quality differences you know the ones that our bodies take in anyway whether you know or not in my opinion it's very important to think about these questions and to dream up solutions around them because what has happened in the past was actually quite the opposite we made sure that humans become less sensitive that we create art with less meaningful differences with less shades with ne less musicality less naturalness in other words we made sure that we humans become a bit less human and a bit more machine at the same time computers ai and technology rapidly increases its, its capabilities and at this low quality music level machines almost don't need us anymore they are just scaling by themselves very fast so if you have this human curve going down making us a bit less human a bit more machine and you have the technology curve going up rapidly you clearly see the problem we are facing but don't get me wrong technology is a huge opportunity and i believe it can be used to make good change and to propel this good thing and help us on our path in fact i believe we must get that right because this human fine tuning and musical quality is a layer that isn't used much or not at all in that transformation and it leaves a world where basically only sellability and scalability decides about quality of things and i wouldn't want my kid to grow up in a world where junk food would get the label of best quality food ever what we should be focusing on is making us more sensitive making us more humane in a way and creating art and music with more subtle differences naturalness musicality and teach technology to help us on that path it's a hand in hand process in music as in many other subjects the most important questions of this century will be around ethics quality and value fortunately there are startups like Paulina Wunders in mind that try to tackle in music exactly these things and as you know technology is getting so much better so quickly that frankly speaking there isn't an awful lot of time left for us humans to become better at being human i'm very optimistic though and especially as a musician because i believe for all of us this quality music factor can play a key role in that transformation but i'm also very optimistic for the youth because music education and quality music gives you all these neuronal connections this value understanding and sensibility that makes kids and adults more sensitive to the world around them in addition music education makes kids almost every better at everything they do from finance engineering maths to coding therefore in my opinion it's an absolute must that music gets again the same importance in normal schools as other main subjects it's a globally added value and it's high time that we take stem science technology engineering and math and make steam out of it science technology engineering arts and math 
So if you're a curious young person or an adult with kids, I invite you dearly to open your mind and become conscious of this musical awareness. I promise you it's going to be the best present you will ever do to yourself or to your kids. Far, far in the future, when humans or whatever creatures will look back at our times and will ask questions like, did they find the human place in a world full of AI? Or were they flushed away by the avalanche of data because we were unable to collaborate and use tech the right way? It cannot be repeated often enough. It's amongst the most important things to deal with quality, value and ethics questions in supposedly subjective fields. And also try to improve as humans and not only the machines. I believe we can leverage the power of quality music to make us smarter, more sensitive, more empathetic, happier and healthier. And at the end of the day, isn't that all we want? Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you very much. Katowice, Poland, it was a huge pleasure. <laughs>